Today we're looking at the work number 11, which is the terracotta fragment from the Lapita people. And the date is around 1000 BCE. This is oceanic art. The medium is red slip earthenware, and it's from Santa Cruz Islands, which is the southeastern part of the Solomon Islands. Looking at one of the fragments, we see that there is a stylized face, and this was only present in early designs. Overall, there's many symmetrical geometric patterns. For context, there were pottery fragments found along the way from Taiwan to the Bismarck Archipelago, uh, signaling a very long canoe trip. Over a couple hundred years, the Lapita people went to the Samoan Tongan Island groups, to Hawaii, to Rapa Nui slash Easter Island, and Aotearoa, and New Zealand. Generally, as they traveled east, the patterns became simpler. For the technique, they used the paddle and anvil technique, which can be seen on the top right. And you can see there's a tool on the inside and the outside of the pot wall, and they're pounding the clay up. The Lapita pots are low fire earthenware, hardened in open fires, not kilns. On the most left, that's a more traditional kiln, and the middle picture would be an electric kiln. The Lapita pots are mostly for storing and serving food, not cooking. The clay was mixed with sand to decrease elasticity or shrinkage and the risk of cracking when firing. The material analysis indicates either the clay or the pots were imported, meaning the Lapita people had the means to travel long distances by boat. The pot designs have a certain grammar. It's very consistent. They incised designs with dentate, which is a tooth-like stamp, and or they drew freehand with a sharp edge. Artists probably had to follow rules of a design system. When design was finished, it was covered with white coral lime paste to make it stand out.